These spectra were measured from a molybdenum oxide in a 4 plus state. The 3D spectra, as shown here, indicate that we have more peaks than you'd expect for a molybdenum 4 plus state. And we have modeled these using, for the 4 plus state, the peak structure that was suggested by Scanlon et al. That is to say that the 4 plus state is constructed from two sets of doublet pairs and these represent screened and unscreened electrons that are associated with unpaired electrons in the 4 plus state. Whereas in the 6 plus state we have a doublet pair where the line shapes are symmetrical, are far simpler in structure than in the 4 plus state. And the idea of this measurement was to observe how the envelope generated by just repeatedly measuring the same sample would change as a consequence of the acquisition itself. What we would like to is illustrate how the 6 plus state does change as a consequence of repeated measurement. The 4 plus state, however, is far more stable and does not show any significant changes over the same time interval. To visualize these changes, we can select two of these VAMAS blocks and then using the toolbar button overlay F2 we can display these data in the same tile and the idea is that we can see the changes in these peak models however when we simply overlay these data then the data themselves in this particular display format won't allow us to see these spectra too easily and certainly can't see the peak model so rather than simply overlaying the data we can use an option on the y-axis property page to offset the spectra within the active tile. We can also adjust the percentage of the tile that will, will be used to display each of these two spectra that are currently overlaid. And when I press the apply button, we then get to see the data more clearly and the peak model. We'd also like to differentiate between these two spectra and this can be done using an option to display the experimental variable which was the elapsed time. So we can see that the bottom one currently represents the as received sample and the top one represents the same sample after measuring for 160 minutes. In earlier versions of CASA XPS the display of axes always produces tick marks moving outwards and for offset plots you only have an axis at the bottom uh, representing the x-axis. So the plots appear as seen here in earlier versions. However, in this particular version, there is an option to allow you to add offset x-axis. So in this case, there's one spectrum without an axis. And if I tick this box and press apply, then the tick marks that are at the bottom are reproduced for this second display of the offset plot. And similarly, I can add a scale to the x-axis. So now we see two spectra overlaid in the active tile and axes associated with the two individual plots of these spectra. In addition there is an option that allows you to add tick marks inwards to the display so rather than pointing outwards you can make them point inwards and have them on both sides of the display. So when I press apply here, we see that the tick marks now point inwards to the tiles. And also on both sides of the display, there are tick marks. So these are controlled by the axes tick marks, tick boxes here, and also on the x-axis here and here. 